I don't know if my information's been sold mm -hmm. to the dark web or where, wherever this goes. Katie Van Fleet says she spent months trying to regain her stolen identity. I kept receiving letters from Kohl's, from Macy's, from Home Depot, from Old Navy for saying thank you for your application. But she says she's never applied for credit from any of those places. Instead, Van Fleet and her attorney believe her personal data was stolen during the massive Equifax security breach. It's a product that they want to sell and that they need to profit off of. That's what they care about. Katie's attorney, Catherine Fleming, has filed a class action lawsuit against Equifax, saying they were negligent when they lost private information on more than 140 million Americans. Countless people. I mean, I've really, truly lost count. And the stories that, like you've heard of, you heard Katie's story, the stories that I hear are heart-wrenching. Everyone's social has pretty much been stolen at least once in the last 10 years. Brian Seeley is a cybersecurity expert. He says everyone with an earshot should do the following to protect themselves from identity theft. First, shop with a credit card. It's easier to get stolen money back than from your debit card. And be sure to review your credit report regularly from all credit reporting agencies. And finally, he says you should freeze your credit. Doing so, he says, makes it impossible for strangers to open lines of credit in your name. I didn't have a choice to use Equifax. Ben Fleet says she spent countless hours trying to restore her good name, and now she's hoping to get a handle on the mess before she takes a crack at buying a house in Seattle. I didn't sign up to use Equifax, uh, so I feel like, you know, all that stuff has been taken, and now I am left here trying to, uh, you know, sweep up the pieces and just trying to protect my protect myself and protect my credit. In Seattle, Steve